How's it going everybody? My name is Jesus and welcome back to another jar made video. Um, do you have any holes in your walls? Uh, if you do, then you're on the right video. Um, so this video I'm going to show you how to cover a hole that you might have in a wall with a cabinet. And this is 100% foolproof for everybody because all holes that are made in walls are exactly the same. There's no deviation. So this video is going to work no matter what. By the way, um, that was a joke. Not all holes in the walls are the same, you know. Um, so just forget what I just said and enjoy the video. All right, as you can see, I have one piece of the cabinet cut out. This is either gonna be the top or the bottom. They're both the same. Um, I'm just gonna make a duplicate of this and then measure this out and cut the rest of them out. I'm not gonna go according to the uh, plans that I have just because they were off. I actually took this uh, to the house where it's gonna go and fitted it and had to trim it up a little bit to make it fit. So I'm gonna cut more pieces out of my plywood. You like the air? It's gonna ignore me. So I finally have my frame pieces cut out um, and I messed up like twice. I cut them too short and too skinny. I said I was going to cut them at one inch, but I was supposed to do an inch and three quarters to um, account for the plywood thickness, which is three quarters. I'm going to use body balls to connect these um, and then mock it up on the cabinet.
once again, I did something that I wasn't planning on doing, which was cutting all the way through these. So now there's like a gap down here, uh, but I'm just gonna get some leftover wood and just cut them to size to fit here. Kind of like making plugs. Okay, so the uh, doors are done. Um, they're not sitting in yet because I have to trim them like one sixteenth of an inch on each door and then one eighth of an inch on all four sides to give it even gap. They asked me to stain it the same color I did the shelves that are kind of right or they're above where this is gonna go, which is a video I made like, I think the last video. Um, and I just noticed that the grain on this is going down and the grain on this is going sideways. So uh, I'm not sure how that's gonna turn out, but uh, I'll let you guys know. All right, so it's been a couple hours since I picked up the camera. The reason why is because uh, I've been working on the doors and not these doors. I actually don't like them. I think this is too skinny. And then the green pattern, as you saw earlier, one's going up and down, the other one's going sideways. So I decided to scrap on these are junk. Uh, and I made these nicer ones. Now, I know what you're thinking that they look the same, which is because they are the same style. Um, but as you can see, these are thicker. The grain on this and the other door, which is drying over there, is um, going the same way. And then if you see in the back, um, there is no pocket hole. So I decided to do a different uh, joinery method. So I feel like these look less cheap. Um, they look nicer and they'll last longer so yeah that's what I did today is I, I just redid the doors I put two hinges on here just to see where I would want them and they're six inches down from the top and this is six inches up from the bottom which I think that's a good spacing um, then it's gonna attach it to the doors once I trim out the doors to be completely even and then I'll be all set for the stain, which I thought I was gonna do today, but I might do that tomorrow, who knows. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and put on the hinges. So I actually have this uh, little space for this is six inches. I could just put this here, uh, grab my hinge, then on top of it, just drill in. I actually use some tape just to hold it in case that happens. Okay, so I got all my pieces sanded, ready for stain. Uh, I'm not sure if I mentioned before, but this is going right underneath the floating shelves that I did on the last video. Um, and we're gonna use the same uh, dark walnut stain on this to kind of match. Um, the only concern that I have is that for that, I used uh, pine, and then for this, I'm using poplar. Um, but I did some tests. And one of these is pine, one of the other ones is poplar, and you really can't tell the difference. Um, this is the pine, this is the popular one, which is the one that's on the doors and on the frame there. Uh, maybe it's a little lighter, but it's really hard to notice any difference, so I think we'll be fine. Um, but yeah, I'm going to apply the stain now um, and then let it finish.
All right, so the cabinet is pretty much done. I picked up these knobs that are black to match the uh, hardware here for the hinges. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and put them up here. And I almost forgot, but there's gonna be a shelf. It's gonna be a shelf that goes in here, somewhere around like 15, 16 inches up high in the middle, um, which I need to put together. And then this will be all done. Okay, so I have this little jig, if you want to call it that. Basically, I went down three inches and two, or one inch and two eighths, which is one inch and two eighths is the middle of the rail here. I'm just gonna clamp it on the top right here, drill through, and then drill all the way through the door. Um, and then I'm gonna flip it over and do the same thing on the other door so I have matching holes for my hardware. All right, so I have the shelf right here. As you can see, it's just a piece of plywood. Um, and you can see the edge of the plywood here, which kind of doesn't look good with this cabinet because there's no other exposed edges of plywood on it. So I have this piece right here, which is made from the poplar that I used to make the doors and the, the I don't know what it's called, whatever. I, I use the same material, so I'm just gonna Put this in front, kind of like that. You know, I think it'll give it some character and it will match with the rest of the cabinet. All right, I think it's done. Shelf's in, it's not going anywhere. Uh, these um, magnets down here to catch the doors, a little stop up here. Got door handle or knob. Second knob, as you can see, I kind of rotated them. I think they look a little bit better that way. If not, we'll just rotate them back the other way. Um, other than that, I mean, it's pretty much done. Just gotta go deliver it and put it in the wall that it needs to go in. Hopefully it fits. If not, it's gonna suck a lot. Hopefully it fits, if not, it's gonna suck a lot. 